Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Pitfalls, Three Bridges, whatever you want to call it. So, I just realized uh, when it said defeat all commanders, that probably includes Ferdinand, and I was looking at his icons once more. And it looks like he's marked as a commander, so I don't have to worry about ending the map early, as the comment section is no doubt telling me in the previous video. But that's okay. Still love you guys. So, uh, let's look at her skill set for a moment. Um, she has defense increase, defiant avoid. Axe Avoid, Aegis, Avoid, Axe Fair, the health. Yeah, just Avoid plus 10, okay. So, I, I can just lure her safely and be okay with it. I just have to make sure I don't kill Fernet when he attacks me. And that's all I really have to do. I could probably bait him into using a Javelin or something. Like, getting this chest might be a little bit more tricky. I could warp someone over there, but I'm afraid that the Cavaliers would rush me if I did that. So I'm going to hold off on it for now. I have, like, fake plans of using Warp on Baleth to get him over there and uh, steal Fernet's thing. But that won't be necessary. I'm probably going to bait out Ladis Lava this turn, because uh, she is a pretty big presence and removing her will make it a bit easier to manage the field here. But first I need to break down this uh, this stupid beast. He has uh, a total of 3 health bars, uh, I broke that one in that barrier a little bit, and that's about it. So, fire off a nice disturbance here, to break like a barrier and a half. Uh, it's not the greatest move, actually I don't like it very much. Uh, let's use Claw's Gambit first, because uh, that one is going to blow up a lot of shit. In fact, let's do it here instead. Uh, if we have more people around it, we could Gambit boost, but we can also Gambit boost later, so that's fine. Let's blow up these, all these. And then we can Gambit the last two with, like, Leone. And like, use Disturbance. And that should get rid of all barriers, and we can get the ore that way. Because, yeah, this just broke two, and then half broke... Oh, actually only broke... Okay, that didn't break him at all. I was expecting this one, this one right here, to be broken as well, but apparently he didn't. Okay. That's okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do. Uh, so you can assembly him now, and do like a bit more. I'm doing a whole lot of damage with these gambits, to be honest. Probably upgrade them a little bit when I can. Or maybe like invest in charm and authority a bit more. Right, I'm not doing a whole lot. Let's see. Okay, so he's attracted to Petra now, but who isn't these days, right? Like, do you have your leadership? No, she doesn't have it equipped. So, for example, Claude, I think he has his authority thing as an ability, but he, she doesn't. Which sucks. Okay, so I have one barrier left to break, and I can also just use this opportunity to attack him. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit limited on what I can do. Uh, Baleth probably can use, like, um, Ruptured Heaven or something. Blime Heaven, that's what it's called these days. Yeah, that's just a one-shot easily if I hit through the barriers, so... I have to pierce this one thing. I guess I'll just use Leone for it. Uh, he's not going to retaliate anyway, as long as I use a strong enough attack. Like a good old Tempest Lance, that... Ew, that doesn't do the trick at all, actually. Okay, um... What if we curved shot? Can we double with that? Curved shots? No, we can't double with curved shot, of course. Of course not, Mecha. You silly boy. Okay, what if I hit a barrier first to take on the health bar? Then I do a big hit with Hilda on the... No, I don't like that here. That's stupid. Um, Felix, can you not really not get far enough? That sucks. Um, uh, could warp some of the Scythia. I could warp Felix forward, I guess. That seems okay to me. I'm gonna do that. Or Felix, closer to here. Because I want to get rid of this guy. I'm gonna pull out all the stops. I'm gonna hit this guy twice, preferably. I'm gonna keep the rest of the uh, the field in mind, though. Like, I don't want her to attack me yet. I think I'm just a little bit busier with this beast than I anticipated, so... I'm gonna hit this guy with my axe. Uh, axes are effective against him, somehow. He's confused right now, so he's not gonna counter me. That's good. Don't like getting countered very much. Alright, hurt him a little bit. Set that Umbral Steel. And now we have two health bars left. We're gonna knock off one of them with Boleth right away. And then I guess Hilda can do the last one. She can probably kill him with a relic of some kind. Like, this axe is just insane, man. <laughs> uh, like, this axe too, but like, both of these axes are just too freaking good. Although, Bolt Axe actually gets the job done too. What about Training Axe? And we might as well just use the training axe, right? It doesn't even matter. Let's use the training axe on this guy. God damn. Why use a relic when you use the training axe, am I right? Alright, got that out of the way. And we can tow uh, over here, I guess, to block their ranges a little bit. So that might be a bit annoying to me. Uh, this guy is going for his venom axe, apparently. That's fine. And he's going to miasma me. Should probably equip an iron bow on her if I have the time. But first, it is time for some sublime heaven. It looks like I'm going to have to do it from range, or from in range. Well, actually, um, yeah, we don't have enough move to get from anywhere else, so 
Unless I like dance him somehow, it's gonna have to be from inside the range. Uh, that's okay. Uh, so, combat arts, sublime heaven, creator sword. Oh, that's not even a one shot, but I can crit. And if not, I can finish off the whole This is okay. It's still a lot of damage. I forgot that the last health bar always has more HP, because it's not a gem, it's the actual health bar. So, ideally, I would heal Leone this turn, I think. Uh, she could probably get this kill. Uh, she's probably about to master Aegis, if I'm not wrong. She doesn't have it already. But this is a pretty easy kill for her. She just got a sick level up that you guys I think right, saw. I did go back in time a little bit, in case that wasn't clear. Uh, make sure it didn't pull girl yet. Um, I thought I mentioned that, I'm sorry. So, you go here. Looks like I'm going to be attacked by Miss Greek Dish. Um, let's see. Don't want to be in range of these two, but other than that, I'm okay with being in range of the Ballista with Marianne. Going to heal. I'm um, pretty sure the most important target here is um, Leone. Did the trick. And then we can dance with Ignatz, but I think that's a bit too dangerous, honestly. Unless I, can, I can dance for one of the Wyverns, actually, and still be out of range. Gonna dance for... Um, Probably, let's see, this is Claude. We got trouble telling them apart for a moment. I'm gonna dance with Claude then. And I'm gonna shoot the mage, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna curve shot the mage to get him out of the way. Be a little bit of a blessful of pain in the butt. Because that guy wasn't getting countered unless I traded with Hilda. But this is a more proactive reason, or a more proactive way to remove him. Because uh, Hilda does have her training axe equipped right now, so she wouldn't have countered this mage. Okay, so just go back here and help up my dude. And then we'll move in Lorenz again with the possibilities of a big strike next turn. But I don't think we'll need to now. Because Bratislava's coming for us. And she's really the main target of those kind of maneuvers. This reinforcement's going to be removed fairly swiftly. Swiftly and Sorry, specifically. And then, see, there's Bratislava. To repay Her Majesty's favor, I will not let you pass. Pretty sure she's attacking me from range, but oh, she's using assembly. So I'm gonna be pulled towards her, I think. It's actually gonna bite a bit, but it missed, thankfully. I would have been kind of punished there. It would have hit Leone, but that's not the worst in the world, I guess. Keep going for Marianne. Keep trying. You will, you will manage eventually, I think. Is a guy moving up? This guy, I'm really curious why he's using this battalion. Someone in the very early comment section said that they use battalions when they feel like they're under threat, when they have like when they're not outnumbered, I think. Not sure that's supposed to work. There's not a reinforced cavalier, but should be doing the fine here. I'm going to use self heal yourself. I think it's like a bishop thing. Either that or it's because she's equipping uh Masturatu. I don't know how that works. Anyways, um, so she has an Aurora shield that I cannot steal, I think. Well, we might as well try, right? Because we're in range anyway. So, um, nope, looks like we can't steal it. That sucks. Uh, let me get rid of her before that boss music gets on my nerves already. Um, she doesn't seem to have a ranged weapon equipped, so um, it's time for some fireworks. Goodbye. Wait, you're not dead. Oh, right, I, I, I misread the HP bar somehow. It's been a little while since I've played long sessions, alright? a little while. Alright, so we can kill her with like... Um, probably has a lot of defense, so I don't know if this works, but... Yeah, it doesn't look great. And her defense is actually like... Uh, 30, which is pretty insane. But we have a lot of effective things against her. We can use the creator sword. Probably double her with the training axe. No, not doubling, okay. Um, but not having a range weapon makes a boss just so easy to cheese. There's like so many different ways you can kill them, usually. Like, it already, this already does like a lot of damage, it's just an iron bow, Hilda can probably murder her outright. Or close to, anyway. I'm gonna bait this beast next with Hilda. So I think that's what I'll do, I'll just attack here. And it won't, like, crit or anything. I am poisoned, so I think it's important that I heal her. Someone. I can't retreat. Even if it costs me my life, I've got to protect the Great Bridge. Well, okay, it's your, uh, it's your party. Or your funeral, whatever your perspective is. Um, but Cynthia isn't close yet, so we're gonna have to physic kill them for sure. And then we can finish her with, um, well, whoever we want really. So uh, in my case, that would be Felix. Um, there's like this similar formation over here that I want to lure real quick, but I don't think Felix is the right person for them. Although he does have the Aegis shield. Maybe he is okay with for it. At least one of the, one part of it. This hit rate is garbage. What about this hit rate? 
Dinner is still garbage. Why is your hit rate? Oh, right, because she has the, the stupid avoid ability, right? He's like, um, the find avoid or something? Yeah, avoid plus... Ah, oh, damn it. Fuck that up. I need an accurate person. That's probably gonna be Claude then. Uh, with like, the Iron Bow Plus. That's like reasonably accurate, but we might need something better. Combat Arts, um, Curve Shots, Iron Bow Plus. That's accurate. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Lance Lava. You're done. There we go. Thankfully, that hit. Lady Edelgard. I'm sorry. Don't worry, you won't remember your name in a couple chapters past. Alright, she's a goner. Lava, no! I will protect this area. Good luck. Alright, hopefully you start starts moving towards me, that will make it easier. Okay, so I'm gonna lure just that guy. Oh hello. Oh shit. More commanders? We'll ally ourselves with the Imperial soldiers too. Oh. What? Um but you're gonna get wrecked, I'm sorry. Wait, no, you're not? Okay. Um, you seem like your enemies, right? You have a you have a general uh a little bit confused here. You have a master seal. And you're like you're alliance general and you're with the Leicester Alliance, but we're fighting against the Empire. But your enemies? Uh whatever, we'll see what they are, but they don't seem to be like on my side, so. Whatever. We'll shrug it off. Okay, so let's use uh, Petra for this part. A little scary, but we always have the turn wheel available. Uh, put some Poleth in here for some good measure. I love good measures. They're my favorites. Uh, let's have the Scythia forward a little bit more. We can even heal Leone, I think. Or no, we can just warp her. Okay, so just dance for her, I guess. So she's like really in range. Supposed to just a little bit in range. Ballista's kind of fucking up enemy ranges, but I know I can put her here. Probably put her even further in, just because of Nosferatu, but we'll play it safe here. And yeah, I think we'll just go from here. The only can stay where she is, that's fine. I will leave this area to the reinforcements, and then I will swing around to provide support from the south. Well, thanks for telling us. You gonna leave now? No? Okay. Oh, okay, he's actually gonna move out. Cool. Okay, so these guys are going for me. Silver Axe doing 9 damage is kind of pathetic, not gonna lie. Claude putting his bow fair to use. A fitting outcome. And then the other guy hopefully won't battalion me, but he probably will. Maybe Ballista, like, stop. Just stop. Just stop. Kind of annoying. Okay, this physic guy thinks he's uh, a more aggressive class and comes towards me. Uh, another beast to take care of. Probably just about as hard as the last one. These beasts are really annoying, honestly. They just take so many resources to take out. Okay, that guy's uh, screwed. This guy's screwed. Yep. All of your 34 mites. Did just enough for the one shot. But, got the crit anyway. Wyvern Lord Petra, doing work. Do not misplace the heart. And what are you gonna do? Nope, not even Gambit, just hammering. He just thinks it's hammer time. Unfortunately, not enough strength to do it kill on Petra. But we did get sealed defense, so he's super easy to kill now. A bunch of self-healing, a bunch of bit of poison damage. Fernand is coming right up, and I'd like to have the beast out of the way before then. And preferably this guy too, let's see. So... Okay, this part is going to be the easiest one. So I think Leone, because of the sealed defense, he will probably be able to die from Leone, right? Looks like it. Yeah, I think even the bow will do. Uh, unfortunately, the positioning is kind of poor for a bow. It's like one, two, three, four. Maybe Tempest Lance can get the one shot because I don't want to like think. <laughs> okay, this works. Okay, I'm just gonna do this to make it simpler and not take as long to think, figure out what to do. Because if I wanted to use a bow, I would have to move someone else out of the way there. For Gerald. And uh, this is something I want to do for sure. Everything else is gonna take a little bit more thought, so I'm just gonna move you back a little bit. So Ferdinand's range, we don't really want to be inside of it, we can avoid it, but we want to take care of this beast first. I think the fastest way is Cloud's Gambit again, at the very least. Fortunately, that does put us in his range. So, uh, hopefully we can get Ferdinand not to suicide, I think I'm just going to have to bank on that. Um, you need to be nearby, at least, a little bit nearby. Get these kills. I definitely want to Seraphim this guy at least once, I think. Okay, uh, the question is who's going to kill this guy over here. If Lorenz can do it, that would be great, but he probably has really high resistance. Uh, fire double, maybe? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, um, 
Ren's gonna probably take this guy out, but this is like the max of his movement, so he can't cancel out of Fernand's range. And for some reason, I suspect Fernand is pretty strong. Playing for 21 AS, that's quite a bit actually. 21 AS, that's probably doubling Lorenz. Lorenz. 21 AS, yeah, I think. Oh, we have the same, so we could leave him in range if we really needed to. So, let's see. Yeah, we can leave him in range, I think. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna have Lorenz murder this guy. Because he doesn't take any damage, so I don't have to heal him or anything if you know that. Uh, what are you gonna do for Nat? What are you going for? Doesn't look like he wants to do anything in particular right now, but it's probably gonna be something. Like, there's no way he's gonna do nothing. Okay, Petra is one of the weaker guys when it comes to Gambit and stuff, so he's gonna use her to kill the priest right here. Just so he's no longer a thing. I mean, the Physic is not the most threatening staff ever, of course, but hey. It is, like... Something that can throw me off, and that's annoying. I'm gonna put you, like, um, this is not ideal. Put you here. And then we're gonna move in Claude, right? Yep, Claude. He has to move Max to do this. He's gonna half break a bunch of barriers. Actually, he does this guy. Good time for a secret scheme. Secret scheme time. He does a ton of damage. Maybe break a couple things. Uh, nope, just uh, hurt him a little bit. Okay, sort of the creator. I just have to kill this guy without doing it, actually. Let's see. Uh, Felix can use his Iron Bow to break this one. And then we can uh, Sublime Heaven it. Could have used Hand Axe as well, actually. Alright, I just want this guy out of the way, really. Just, I never like to leave these alive. I don't care, Felix, if you like to improve. It's what I like to do, too. Don't get me wrong, but... Okay, so Ignaz cannot actually get close enough to dance Paleth after he attacked once. But I think Seraphim is also going to do a number on this guy. Seraphim is always effective against monsters and always has been, so... Seems good to me. Yeah, fuck this guy's war. Not spamming relics. I could just use training axes instead, you know? Training axes are fine for me. Alright. Keep making that progress, girl. And then we'll sublime heaven the last bit. And hopefully Ferdinand won't suicide. Okay, this isn't normally this is a kill too. Uh, sublime heaven is probably not a kill then. Yep, but it's okay, we can just double attack. That actually takes less durability, believe it or not. So finally an opportunity to use this weapon, what it's meant for. Uh, it could hit me, but it doesn't hit that hard, so it's fine. And then we'll see if Ferdinand still wants to do nothing at all. Artificial press stone. Yeah, these guys seem to manipulate it in some way by the Empire. Uh, I could buy. That was savage. I really don't like that weird mask they have, though. That's just fucking weird. Alright. Well, that's in his natural habitat with the Sword of the Creator. Very impressive. Okay, Fernand, you're still not doing anything for some reason. Is he fleeing? Or is the game just not telling me what he wants to do? Anyway, I think it's about time we move you out of Ballista range before you're gonna die to it. And I have Physic. Um, no one really needs it, but I guess Hilda needs it the most. If there was anyone who needed it, so we'll go for her. And then uh, Ignaz can even dance for her if I want to. And heal someone else. Like heal herself, maybe. That's probably the most um, prudent action here. I only have four physics left. That is not enough to be dangerous or anything, but hey, whatever. Still haven't got the chance to try a Tempest Lance, unfortunately. Alright, Hilda hasn't actually moved yet. That was an interesting fact. Okay, we do want to get a chest, actually. So how about we send Hilda to do that? That is, um, that is an option. So let's do that. Uh, convoy, deposit the um, training axe, I guess. The, the iconic training axe. Take out a chest key. Probably won't need both relics either, so maybe just. Um, wait, let me get a better training axe, like a full one or something, like an iron axe even. Let me see. Training axe, take this for the axe of something. And let's have you fly over here with your mighty movements. This guy has a killer bow, so I want to be a little bit wary of where I can go. Um, Lex, right, right now he wants to go for something else, though. I think we'll let what he's targeting. Maybe he'll change his mind. Here goes Fernand. He's not actually attacking now. So he, he seems to be doing what he said he was doing. He's going south and enforcing or something. I think he just walked barely into Bolet's movement range, if not barely out of it. Okay, going for Blessikia. Understandable. Guarded herself. Oh, this guy's blazing me. I hope that doesn't hit Boleth when it hits. 
Uh, looks like it's going for Claw, who I think is next to Boleth, so this could have been bad, but thankfully we dodged. That is good. Alright, so I think Hilda just took a bit more poison damage. Uh, we can't get it just quite yet. I think this is the last commander I have to kill. Um, no, yeah, it is, it is this guy that I have to kill. So as long as I stay out of his range, I think the map won't end no matter what. Kill the Ballista now. And actually going to try to stay out of this guy's range just to make sure. Like, I really don't get why this is an enemy. Lester Alliance, right? Alright, we were betrayed by a couple of them, I guess. I guess that it makes sense, yeah. Okay, we were betrayed, that's right. So we're gonna kill this guy. Take over the healing tile. Ford is ours. We put our guy, girl, on here. And then we're gonna take care of Ferdinand. So he's over here. And Boleth does not have to reach right now. One, two, three, four, five. But if we kill these guys, we do. So we don't need to use Stride yet. So we're gonna use Lorenz to kill another one of these paladins because we know we can do it. I'm just gonna burn this guy to a crisp. These are actually like the last fire uses. On the whole, I find that the Fucking amount of magic enemy. uses a guy has isn't really a big factor hey, when it comes to like limiting my mages and how much I use them. But I will find I do find that it like it prevents you from using them to kill like a massive amount of units. But that's about it really. Okay, so we can steal. And I think we have the slots for it too. Steal massive wait, you can't steal that? Huh? Okay, hold on. Are you full? Or not? I don't think you're full either. Uh, well, I have, I have my turn wheel still, so... Um, equip the training axe for a moment. Steel, master axe, steel. Yeah, it works, it works. Okay, I got it, cool. So, Ferdinand, now is the time for you to die, I'm afraid. Well, not very afraid, but you know what I mean. Um, one of this paladin out of the way, gonna kill him with Petra. Or going back in uh, range of more friendly allies. Because this guy doesn't seem friendly to me at all. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. And then, let's see, this beast is uh, the next big mark for me. Let's see, what, am I, what do I have marked right now? This guy? That, that's not necessary. This guy is necessary. But Fernand, probably a tough opponent. Uh, I think he's from the same... Yeah, he's from the Black Eagles, so... Um, I don't really have any Black Eagles besides Petra, who I just moved, so unfortunately no conversations there, I think. We could check it out on the turn wheel if it's bad, I guess. Thank you. I'm curious if they have a conversation or not. Let's see. I'm sure that Teach has a conversation with him. Let's see this. After this battle, I will be known far and wide as the legendary Ferdinand of Adrestia. I think he'll be fine. No combo from what I can see. Just a bunch of boat shots coming his way. But I pull all the way, all the same. And now his defense is nerfed, so it should be very easy to kill with anyone I want to. That'll be Felix, I think. Let's go, Felix. Use your iconic training axe. Actually, can we use your iconic hand axe instead? We can. Looks like we can. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Good fun. Would have been curious to see if he had a combo with the teacher, but hey. It would probably have been, oh my god, teacher, I didn't want to face you, oh my god. Alright. Got a dead guy. Even if I die, please protect this area. Please don't end the map. Please don't end the map. Thank you. Okay, nope. Looks like we have more to go. Uh, you're going for Boleth, that's fine. I am just going to heal whoever got hurt, which is Petra. Uh, I have the auto leader bookmarked, so bookmarked, marked. So I shouldn't be ending the map by any means. Nonetheless, let's be cautious here and turn on the complete enemy range thing. And then assists. And physic whoever he wants. Actually, let's, let's just heal, alright? Let's just heal. <laughs> heal our wounds. With Leonia in for some more. Well, I don't know about action, but some more moral support, I guess. Beast coming for me. Coming for Boleth. Coming from range. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Now he's angry. That was intentional. Okay, so Hilda gets the chest. Critical ring, alright. I think I already have one of those, but I. Can't look a gift horse in the mouth, am I right? I'm just gonna go here so you're ready for a strike next turn if that's applicable. Applicable? Applicable. Okay, so I would like this guy's ore for sure. Uh, I think I have a gamut on you left. So let's lure. That's not the best one here. But it's okay. Uh, I have one here too. Assembly. Felix has none because he's no battalion. Lawrence doesn't have one really. Uh, what, you have group flames. 
you have disturbance. It's not the greatest like toolbox of like gambits. You're out, I think. We're, we're kind of low on gambits, really. But we have some left. We have enough for all the things, I think. So if we gambit here, disturbance. Don't underestimate us. What you got? The more annoying thing is probably going to be um, actually killing him with all his health bars and everything. We do know that Kalef can do it in one round, some of, the, some of the times anyway. Okay, so this one is breaking down, this one is not. So we just need a little bit more. Um, Petra has one. Uh, we do this, we break two of them I think. Uh, hurt one, injure another one. Gambit boosts. 10 damage, not great. I'll admit, my gambits are not the most impressive ones. I've seen more impressive ones, but hey, we're just we're just getting a boost every time we do these, okay? Uh, you actually have Resonant Lightning, which is a really good one, but I want to just attack normally with her. Uh, Ignatz even, even has one, actually. Uh, Fusillade, which could also work, but I'm just going to use Boleth, and then if we want to set the right play, I could also just attack normally twice. I like that better, actually. We're going to hit him with uh, Ragnarok or something, or even Agnes Arrow is probably effective or something, isn't it? Use all the ash, magic arrows with high hit. Dude, what does more damage? Sagitte, Agnea's arrow, Ragnarok. Agnea's arrow is the strongest one, so we're just gonna try that one. I'm just gonna use normal attacks to break these. Okay, that was good. By good, I mean it was okay. And I'm gonna use Felix to break the last bit. And maybe that will finish off his health bar too. Looks like it will. That's good, that means we, we just need to hit him twice with Boleth and we win. If not, we also have Lysidia available. In fact, I might just use Lysidia first. There we go, there's the Umbral Steel. No, these are good. Okay, two health bars left. Uh, now we can strike with uh, Lysidia. We can even use Lysidia twice, I think. Seraphims does a buttload. Okay, then don't do it. Like, Just say no. You gotta learn how to say no. Important. 207 damage with a crit. Not bad. Alright. We can use Boleth or we can use Lysithia. Uh, I think we'll, if, we, if he doesn't finish up, we'll give it to someone else. Uh, this is an easy kill, isn't it? This is a very easy kill. I'm still gonna do it with Boleth. Here is something to believe in. Alright, goodbye. You know, we're still here anyway. Um, with like proper positioning, we should be able to... Okay, what I can do next turn is warp Boleth here to kill this guy. Or warp Boleth here to steal from him. Get another Master Seal. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that. Gonna position him just right. Thank you. Uh, maybe lure a couple guys over. Let's see. These guys have like... Uh, let's see. This guy doesn't have two range though. So we can bait these uh, these two into attacking Hilda. I think I will. Oh, oh it's already too late. Okay, uh, maybe Claude can do it. So just make sure you stay out of range, out of, range of that guy, Claude. Uh, but you do gotta be in range of this guy. Is that possible? Hear the Anna voices going now. This guy, let's see. I think it's not possible, unfortunately. This is too far away, really. Yeah, that will get him attacked. I don't think it's possible to lure away the mages, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more patient here. So move here. Uh, get in here. Yeah, we'll figure something out. I only use one warp, so that's good to know. I'm gonna position you a little bit differently. And then we're ready to go. We also stride, actually. Okay, so what we'll do is Claude can actually attack the boss from here. That's pretty good. Probably kill him, I hope. Bill not definitely kills him. Yeah, he's, he has an easy time killing him. So we can warp Boleth in. We have one left. Assist, warp Boleth. That's another Master Seal. Sha! Hello there. Okay, hopefully this will also master his class. That would be that would be the greatest ending to this Thief Boleth arc. Steel ma oh shit, he's full. We're gonna have to convoy a little bit. That's great. A, a, a thief with a convoy. How cool is that? Steel, 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 steel. There you go. Thank you, bro. Okay, now we got your master seal, and now you're worthless to me. So goodbye. I could use someone else, but I am just gonna use good old Hilda here, I think. Uh, could always use Claude, but hey, they both have like plenty of experience. I think they'll be okay. Goodbye, traitor. Hope it was fun. 
being a traitor. Goodbye. Don't get used to this. All right, level thirty-five Wyvern Door. I heard max level is forty, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm glad we defeated them here. I doubt they're an enemy we could win against twice. Bring up volume. The Great Bridge Coop. Coop? I think it's Coop. Hilda MVP. Alright, let's see the aftermath and the start of the next chapter. And then it's already almost over, guys. So we're gonna go to the Empire. We're, we're pretty much in the Empire now, well aren't we? Well done, everyone. The Great Bridge of Muradin is ours. I was prepared for bloodshed, but that was more than expected. I guess I'm still not used to this. We're 16 chapters in or something. Even our Jeez. enemies were fighting for their own cause. They held out without fleeing until the bitter end. You don't have to get used to it. We must overcome this. We must overcome this. Yes. Oh, he must like We it. can't afford to stall here. Now it's on me to return to Alliance territory and convince those lords to join us. Lawrence, would you return home for the time being and lay the groundwork with your father? Fine. After all, this is for the Alliance. Or rather, for all of Fodlan. For those of you who live in Alliance territories, I ask that you return to your houses and spread the word about the current situation. Until we finish our preparations, Judith and the Knights will do everything in their power to defend the Great Bridge. Oh, they do, they do a great <laughs> job of that. That's a casual way to dole out such a deadly mission, boy. I'm gonna die here, isn't she? Just who do you think I am? I won't let the Empire pass this way. Even if it costs me my life. Too bad you're not allowed to die. Fight like your life depends on it, but flee if you're ever truly in danger. He actually does this a in tall Black Eagles. Order, as always. <laughs> I'll use my best discretion, Claude. Kind of cool how that no ties in. Either. Go forth and secure us a sufficiently powerful army. I'll stay here too. The only ones I'd be going home to are my little sis and my grandpa. Are you sure you don't want to see your sister? It may be a while before you can return home again. But if I see her, I may not want to come back. So I'll wait till I'm done here. What about me? I'm gonna stay too. Actually, I'd like for you to come oh, with me, Teach, okay. to help negotiate with the Lord. So is this gonna be him and Claude? Followers of the Church of Seros, after all. It'll make things easier if we have someone there to speak on Rhea's behalf. All right, everyone. Let's meet back at the monastery next month. Good luck out there. Monastery, eh? I've been is there before. That you kiddo? Hey. Not <clears throat> that. I have returned, Nardell. Nardell. Dear. Oh, ah, Master Claude, it's you. I mistook you for one of the local <laughs> children. My apologies. <laughs> it seems you have adjusted to your work here. Our recent strategy was successful thanks to you. I was a bit concerned when House Goneril's army intervened from the east. Count Gloucester must have requested reinforcements from them. Yes, and they have that young general who won some acclaim from his battles in Almira. Regardless, they showed no signs of seriously wishing to attack us and merely fulfilled their obligations to House Gloucester. Now then, who is this handsome fellow? That's Claude. You already this know is who he is. my professor, who I asked to join me at the roundtable conference. Oh, come on. Teach, this is Nardell, that retainer Judith was talking about. Nice to meet you. Hmm, how polite. I've heard good things about you from Master Claude. Of course you did. As you can see, he wasn't born in Fodlan. Still, trust me when I say he is highly capable. You're not born in Fodlan, and you're amazing. True! In fact, my capability is my only redeeming quality. That's not possible. I hope you'll continue to look after Master Claude, Professor. Don't worry. If he dies, I swear I'll use the turn wheel. I think you promise. Alright, let's see the next chapter. Start of it anyway. Boing, boing, boing. That's a fast load. Fasting loading screen. Fastest loading screen ever. Blood of the Ego and Lion. Oh, shit. Win. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Shit. Dimitri? Finally? Please? Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army invades the Imperial territories. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. Mercius. Yeah, I assume that's like an entrance fort into the real deep empire, because we, we just took a bridge that would take us into the empire, basically. That was on the border. That's like their main line of defense, but apparently there's going to be another. So it's going to be another fort siege chapter, basically.
Although, I haven't really seen any seize missions in this game. It's just been, you know, kill commander, kill commander, kill commander, kill commander. And sometimes defend. All of that went about as well as it could have. Each lord has agreed to provide us with soldiers and supplies. I'm impressed wow. you were Each able lord? to convince all of those scattered nobles to help us. Me too. I thought they would quarrel about how much support they should each provide. That's what they usually do. That's Claude. Well, Count Gloucester took the initiative in taking on responsibilities. I presume that was because you spoke with him in advance, Lawrence. I merely explained the situation at hand. And my father simply followed your lead, Claude. I love how well Lorenz is tied into this. It was because you had the professor there to represent Lady Rhea. My father is a pious follower of the Church of Seros. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I wasn't under the delusion that it was my personal charm that unified everyone. Thanks for that, by the way. I hope you don't feel like I used you, because I sort of used you. Use me any day, haha. -ha. Don't mention it, I'm not well pleased. I don't... Um, let's go with this one. I appreciate that. We don't have time to be picky about our methods. Alright. But be honest, you're having a hard time adjusting to your new role, aren't you? No, because... You weren't even a follower of Seros to begin with. And somehow you've ended up as a representative of the church. Comes with the territory of being a god. I might feel guilty about deceiving the believers for our cause. But this is just what the Archbishop wanted. And she's the highest authority in the church. Besides, as wielder of the sword of the creator, it's undeniable that you're special. Yeah, yeah, I think I've you got the more point. confident in yourself and use your position to the fullest. I'm fine. I'm I fine. Our enemy is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. Their army is immense, likely led by a renowned general, or perhaps even... Edelgard? Yep, Edelgard. Well now, that would be interesting. If we can defeat the Emperor, then the Empire will collapse. Oh boy. There's something else. An unidentified army has approached the Great Bridge of Murden. They it's passed through the Daphnil and Gloucester territories from the northwest with incredible speed. Why are you only bringing this up now? They're raising the banner of House Blathed. Perhaps they are the remnants of the Fargus royal oh, family. Shit. From what we could tell, they posed no threat to the citizens of the Alliance, and so we refrained from engaging them in needless combat. Maybe they hope to fight against the Empire to avenge their fallen prince. And what about the bridge itself? Obviously, we wouldn't let them pass without receiving envoys first. We thought they may try to force their way through. Dimitri is alive. He's alive. He's got to be alive. We considered firing warning arrows, but they left immediately, heading east. Are they intending to use one of the bridges in Ordelia territory? Most likely. But the Imperial Army still controls those bridges. So we don't care? I can't imagine what they intend to do in the Empire, even if they do manage to break through. I'm reluctant to ease up on our surveillance, but it would be difficult to track them there. For now, let's assume they're just troops belonging to the Old Kingdom. In any case, we should proceed with caution. Soon we'll be entering Empire territory ourselves. If our enemies are going to intercept us with an attack, it will probably be at Grander Field. How fitting I was that just it was thinking about that. the Battle of the Eagle and Lion five years ago. That's why it's called Blood of the Eagle and the Lion. That makes sense. Any more talks to do? I do have supports to show. So I guess I'm going to be recording those separately. Alright, here we are. A new month. Claude accepted the Silk Dragon Armor from Rondell and obtained the certification for the Barbarossa class. Okay. I'm very curious about that. Okay. My secret is hard work. Okay. Another special class. You really need multiple men? Holy god, that's cool. Um, on that note... Check him out real quick. Where are you? Oh, Claude, here you at. Are you actually a bottle of rust? He is a bottle of rust. Oh, so it's like a... It's not a Pegasus. I thought it was a Pegasus, but it's a white wyvern. Okay. I see. Alright. 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 In the tradition of Almyria, Claude wields a bow wheel while riding the skies on his wyvern. He can take... and move again after take... Okay, so... I don't know what's different about this, but hey, I'll try it out, I guess. <clears throat> Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time for some Imperial Invasion. Peace.